In this video, we're going to take a look at the Linear Motion Compensator in the AH-64 Apache. Stig Ray is pound six, you're cleared to engage. Lead is a rolling in, engaging south to north, left in, right out. Alright guys, so I noticed with the new update that we have a change to the way the linear motion compensator works. So we'll go ahead and address that. Before it was a little bit nerfed, a little bit too easy. Uh, it had a ground stabilization that was happening that is uh, not realistic. But uh, as hopefully some of you guys have figured out, when I do videos for the Apache, I'm doing videos for the DCS Apache, not the real one. Uh, so as things change in the module, uh, is when we'll address them and teach them the way that they are in game because that's what's most helpful for you guys so today we'll get out to the range and uh, let George fly us around and we'll just kind of talk about the uh, LMC and how it works all right so we're in the front seat I got George uh, heading out and we've got a few hot spots here so nothing's changed the LMC in the sense of what it's trying to do is trying to uh, compensate for linear motion of the target and uh, the movement of the aircraft however it's not going to stabilize so when I turn it on it's not necessarily just going to stop where it is. The LMC is on, but it's not necessarily stopping uh, and just grabbing that point in space. So I'm going to go ahead and arm the aircraft so we can shoot the laser. Again, we do want to give the LMC some range so it doesn't jump on us. But I'm going to turn it on, and immediately it is working. So I'm having to put in those minute controls, and you can see my manual tracker over on the right side. I'm still putting in those control inputs, those tiny little movements. It's still what I would consider like moving something on ice. But you're not going to get that stabilization. But it can be done. It's that initial part that's really tough. So let's find something else out here. And again, I've purposely got us at a little bit of an oblique angle to make it more challenging uh, with George flying. We're going about 70 knots. So again, I've found my target. First thing I want to do is I want to laze. Then I want to turn on the LMC. See how it's still drifting? But as I put in right uh, tracker there, manual track, it starts to drift back to where I want it. Versus, if I put in right, notice how it just keeps moving. Okay. So here, give me a better example. I keep moving it like this. You're going to have a real hard time keeping a laser spot, especially if the target is really far and you've only got a little bit of movement. I can't keep doing that. So I laze, turn on the LMC. I still got to fight it back over to the target. I don't have that immediate stabilization, but you can see now uh, that I can move it and then just continue to make little adjustments, push it along the ice, and keep it on the target. Now remember, the same thing holds true that I've said before about the LMC is once we come off of a target, we're just kind of looking at these trees right now, but once we come off of the target, we want to go to another target, you really need to turn off the LMC because if you do this, we go to wide field of view, and we do it, now it's going to start getting a little bit wobbly on us, it might be hard to control. So what we want to do is turn off that LMC, it's going to lock in place and stay relative uh, with the aircraft. Makes it a lot easier to move things around and then once we find what we want to zoom in on, we can use the LMC. Of course we should laze, because if we don't, uh, that range uh, could cause the LMC to jump on us and act a little bit funky. So let me get George turned back around and we'll look at these uh, targets and play around some more. All right, so let's run it through one more time and maybe find a little cheat. So we've got our target, we're gonna laze, and then we're gonna turn on LMC, and I'm just gonna put on those pressures and counter pressures and sort of let that line of sight drift onto the target. Now, if you're still having trouble with it, of course you can use the image auto tracker. So I'm gonna try and grab it with the image auto track. There it is, and it's gonna stay locked on. Now, again, we're kind of getting into cheat mode here because the image auto tracker uh, really grabs things a lot easier than it than it would in real life, but that's okay because again we're dealing with the DCS Apache. We're dealing with what we got now. The problem here is if you move your line of sight off of that, you're back to square one. Yeah, you're tracking it, but you're not actually holding it. So in that case, if this happens, we've drifted off target. Just hit that center switch, and it should take you right back to whatever you were tracking. Now, of course, if this vehicle is moving and it goes behind something, you may lose that track. So just something to keep in mind uh, while you're using Image Auto Tracker. And of course, uh, as you can see, if we go ahead and dump that track, we still have LMC on. You guys have got to pay attention to what you're doing with the LMC. See those little tick marks right there? 
that's telling you that you've got the LMC on. So always be on the lookout for that because if you do and then you start moving stuff around, it's again going to get a little bit squirrely. Just go ahead and turn that thing off and get it back stabilized with the aircraft. So as you can see, not a lot to the LMC. Just remember to make those small, smooth movements with your manual tracker and don't get frustrated. If you do, just turn it off and reset yourself and make sure you squirt that laser. Thanks for watching. We'll see you.